Hey, Scorpio. Welcome, welcome. This is going to be your uh, weekly reading. It's for anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided to see it. Okay, this reading could resonate now or later on or at a different date if you're guided at a different date. I will tell you guys, I just set off my smoke detector. So if that happens again, I apologize, but we just saged the heck out of this room. All right, and out of these cards. So we're ready to go. Spirit and angels, anyone for the high school for Scorpio? What do, oh, came right back out. That tried to pop out a second ago too while I was talking to you. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Scorpio reading for whatever reason they're guided here? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Scorpio reading. All right. So Scorpio, you could be, um, you or someone around you could be speaking up about something or someone, um, or just, you know, telling someone something or saying something, or they could be. Because it's in the central, uh, it shows up as like you, someone delivering information. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so um, you could be the emperor or you could be dealing with the emperor. But we also have the king of pentacles here. So any of these, okay. So for me, the emperor is usually a masculine, but whatever works on your end, please take you know sometimes the emperor is just um an energy of taking control of a situation but we have the emperor looking right at the chariot and the king of pentacles okay very nice energy this is how it sits on my desk so the king of pentacles can also be the queen of pentacles or anyone <clears throat> remember gender doesn't matter if you're non-binary this could be you if you're feminine this could be you this could be you if you're masculine so however it works but we have cancer Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we have Aries, um, so far, oh, and Leo in this reading so far, right? All right, so what I see here is the strength card. We also have the page of pentacles in the reverse. We have the four of pentacles. We also have the five of pentacles reversed, and we have this knight of swords I was telling you about that came out as the central issue in the reading, and the three of chalices in the reverse. I feel like there's something here about somebody, something's holding, somebody needs the strength to come forward, page of pentacles in the upright, but what's happening is they're holding back, um, the, the four pentacles, page pentacles, whether this is an offer or an opportunity or something that's supposed to come forward, it's being held back. It could be something financial with the five of pentacles reversed. But the whole reading has to do with something that's now going to come forward. This is the central issue. So I do feel with that Knight of Swords and this chariot, something is going to come forward that's been held back. Um, but with the strength card here, I feel like the either someone's trying to get up the strength to come in with some kind of an offer or to accept a new offer. So um, right now it's kind of on hold. We also have, like I said, this this King of Pentacles down here, an Emperor down here looking at this chariot. This Emperor is looking over at the chariot. So do we have two people who are, or someone here who wants to offer something to come into union and work together to create together? Now, this could be love. This could be work. It could be anything. I see a lot of platonic energy in this reading. So it could be platonic, but let's find out. It could be anything. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. All right. So, um, <laughs> wow. All right. So somebody's trying to get up the nerve again, I feel to come forward and say something. A uh, page of chalice is reversed and the ace of swords again, trying to get up the nerve to come forward to say something, same energy. And they're trying to figure out how to go about it, or they're trying to figure out, um, they're contemplating on it. Um, and I feel like this would bring together this, the four of wands, two of, of chalices. But right now this is in reverse because we're only thinking about it, but not actually taking the action. Ace of wands reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed to bring it together. Ten of pentacles. Somebody is not actually doing it. Like these tens are on hold. Ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune with the ace of wands. The actual, the actual um, new beginning, but there's no fa pa uh, passion and fire behind it because we haven't really decided to go in and make the offer yet. Page of Chalice is reversed. But somebody is very much considering it, 
thinking about it. They just haven't done it yet. I feel like they're trying to gain this clarity, uh, this Ace of Swords here, this clarity before they actually make the decision. Because I feel like when they do, when they get this clarity and that fire gets lit on that Ace of Wands there and they decide to Page of Cups in the upright, come in and make the offer, it's going to come in very... Um, so the Page of Cups can also be the Page of Pentacles here. So this offer is going to cut. They're trying to get the strength up to bring in the offer. And it's going to come in very platonic or very, it's going to come in in a different way for each of you. Some of you, it's going to come in as a platonic offer. Some of you, it's going to come in as a romantic offer. But nonetheless, it's going to bring two people together to work together. Two of chalices. And look at the four of wands, how they're working together. And look at how he's got his arm raised. He is saying, I will work with you and I will be there for you and I'm committing to you. And she's just got to decide if she's going to raise her arm too. Okay, this could all be she, he, he, she, two, he's, two, she's. It doesn't matter. Non-binary, all of it. Okay, somebody's trying to figure out how to do this and to get light the fire beneath them to have the strength to go in and do this. But right at this point, they're, they're holding back. But they are trying to figure out how. How am I going to go charging in there to say, hey, I want to work with you? Um, because right now, you know, we're in the five of pentacles, but we want to be in five of pentacles reversed. I want to bring all this forward um, and work together. Look at the chariot in this in this deck is just like these cards of working together and agreeing to do something together three of chalices coming together and you know it looks like they're all like high-fiving like yeah we got this i do believe there's something here trying to come together and someone's trying to figure out how do i go about taking the action to bring this together Whew. All right, so <laughs> I know I'm going super fast, but these readings are long and I don't want them to be too long. I like to keep them down to 15 minutes, but also I channel very quickly. And those of you that know me, this stuff just come pouring out at, of me so fast that my mouth can't move fast enough to say it sometimes. So hold on one second, guys. I need a quick sip. <sighs> okay. Whew. All right, let's go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. All right, so let's get into Scorpio here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. We're going to get some clarity around this. I probably won't clarify everything because, you know, guys, I just put out um, monthly love readings for you guys, too. So I'm putting out a ton of readings all at once for you guys. I hope you... Um, are catching them all the monthly love readings went out and those of you that are looking for the general monthlies they already went out like at least a week ago um so i hope you're catching those as, as well all right spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know here for oh there's a weekend reading out there's daily re readings out there's special event readings out please do dig through the channel enjoy what do we need to know about this reading for scorpio anyone with scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided to see the scorpio reading for whatever reason they're guided here one more shuffle scorpio reading all right first thing i want to look at scorpio is that knight of swords in the center here tell me about the knight of swords it's like somebody finally speaks up or moves forward or that's the idea of this whole yeah six of cups reverse so for some of you this is someone wanting to speak or say something to someone they consider a soulmate or someone from their past they want to come forward and say please let's work together um why is the three of or i'm sorry five of pentacles reversed here why yeah, absolutely. With the three, uh, and now I almost said three of pentacles. I was going to do these two together. We've got the three of wands reversed and the nine of pentacles reversed. I'm telling you, somebody does not want to be single anymore. They want to work together. They want to come together. They don't want to feel this alone feeling anymore. They want to offer a new opportunity, a new beginning. Ace of wands, ace of pentacles, page of pentacles, page of cups. All this new, new energy, this chariot with this working together to build new together. Somebody definitely wants to bring this together. Tell me about strength, page of pentacles, and four of pentacles. This is all about somebody who's withholding their energy or withholding the offer because they're trying to build up the strength. What do we need to know about the strength, page of pentacles, reverse with this four of pentacles? What do we need to know about it? Absolutely, to come in and bring in that offer. 
All right, Four of Wands is reversed, the Hermit's reversed, and the Ace of Cups is reversed. And this is all about someone who has gone within to shine the light on everything to figure out how do I get to this Ace of Cups? What do I do? Because right now my Four of Wands is reversed and I want it so badly to be in the upright, but I've got to figure out how to go in and bring that offer in to ask for it. And they are just freaking out. I don't know why. This person seems to have a lot of Leo in their chart. A lot of fire. They have a lot of fire, but this all could be happening during Leo season season right now. So remember, we are we just entered Leo season, you know, about a week, two weeks ago. Um, and we're in the Lionsgate portal where these kinds of things are blessed and spirit guides people to do these kind of things, to bring together these relationships that they want to bring together, to go on in and say, I want to work with you to manifest in what it is you want. Look at that. That's the magician, the mini magician manifesting in their hopes, wishes, and dreams, but it's on hold. Why? Because someone's trying to figure out how to go about it. How do I do this? How do I go in and tell this person I want to work with them? I want to bring this together. Look at what's at the bottom. The Knight of Cups. They haven't made the offer yet. Listen, if someone is figure, trying to figure this out, Scorpio, if it's you, it's time for you to just do it. I mean, this is the perfect time before that Lionsgate energy is leaving us. I mean, it's just about gone. So you might have a smidgen of a second left to run in there and do the 11th hour, will you marry me or whatever you got to do. <laughs> and now for most of you, this could, might not be you. It might be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, an Aries or a Leo that's doing this, maybe even Sagittarius. Um, let me look at maybe even Cancer. Tell me about the can uh, the chariot. What about the chariot? What is this doing here? The chariot. Absolutely. It's because someone has to move forward. If we don't move forward, we could miss out on that brilliant new beginning. And Spirit says, get in the chariot and go. Somebody will commit to working with you if you go in and ask. This is such nice energy. And I don't know if it's you, Scorpio, or if it's someone else that has to do the initiation. But somebody has to go in and present to a soulmate and say, this is how I feel. Now, this could be a past life soulmate. It is a past life soulmate, no doubt about it. But I don't know if you know them, like if you've had a relationship before with them or not in this lifetime. But you have had a relationship with them before. You probably feel that strongly. Tell me about the um, King of Pentacles. Leaving behind the emotional baggage and going for the new beginning. That's the Eight of uh, Cups. This is leaving behind anything that's held you back and moving towards new beginnings. And guess what happens? Justice. This is where the balance comes in, whether it's you or them. All right. So let me look at, this is also leaving anything that was daunting in the past. So if this is a person coming in to say to you, I want to work this out with you. I want to make it work. Or if you're going into them, make sure if you're the one going in, especially that you say anything that happened in the past, we're throwing out the window. We're going to release it. And we're, our whole focus is going to be on the new. Um, this is just for those of you that are trying to bring something back together. Tell me about the emperor here. What do we need to know? The emperor takes control of a situation. This could be the act of making, taking control. The two of pentacles reverse tells me somebody is making a decision. And what are they making the decision to do? To put that cup back out there. Look at it. Four of cups. Look at the universe trying to hand somebody the cup. But they're so busy looking at this, looking at the past, looking at what didn't work out, that they're missing the opportunity. Spirit says, stop missing opportunities and make a decision to take an action. All right, whether it's you or them, tell me about the, now this could be masculine or feminine, non-binary, I don't care, but it's an action-based card on someone needing to take control of the situation. Tell me about the three of chalices reversed. fighting to bring back something together there also could be other people involved and this could have been the problem somebody could have had a third party person involved or somebody could have there could have been a drama there could have been different people fighting about different things this is the opportunity to stop the fighting and come in and work together on something again will you 
will you work together with me on something? Can we bring this together? But someone's got to get out of their head and actually move forward to do this or it's not going to work. The chariot is forward movement. It's like someone's going to have to flip that six of swords in the upright and jump in that chariot and go in. Um, and I see that everywhere. Everywhere I look, I feel like they're afraid of the competition or they're afraid of the drama that happened in the past. And like I said, we're going to have to leave the past behind us and focus only on the present. And we're going to have to agree to work together. And someone's going to have to make the decision to take the initial op the, to make the move to go in because no one has made the move to actually go in and bring this together yet. And the whole reading is about someone coming in and speaking up to a soulmate and telling them how they feel. And it could be someone from the past, but this also could be past life. So you might not know them from the past, but it's someone who is seeing something about, I feel someone that they care about. They're seeing that there's real potential there, but they're going to have to actually go in and make the offer that they have not made. They keep holding back and holding back and they know they have to pull on their inner strength to go in and make the offer and they're finally like they're seeing it it's like I see what could be but I have to make up my mind and I, I I see it the ace of swords with clarity I know ace of swords ace of wands ace of pentacles ace of cups all the aces are here and somebody's seeing this all could be mine if I actually make the move and go in it's a crazy reading. It's beautiful. It really is. I don't know which one of you is the one who's going to go in and make the offer. But if it's you, Scorpio, fast. I mean, I don't mean to rush people, but this Lion's Port Ener Energy, Lion's Gate Portal, which is so important. See that Lion's Gate Portal right there? It's your first card out saying you have an opportunity to manifest anything or anyone you want by doing it right now this Lionsgate portal energy is about gone i mean it's been going on we've talked about it we have readings out there about it don't mess this up you've got like a minute to go in and make sure that you speak now or forever hold your peace if it's you i don't know if it's you or not but let's find out oh whoa these just flew out play power and tenderness yep this is spirit says we got your back right now you're in the power seat for about another minute Go and tell someone how you feel tenderness and play. That means joy will come in your life. The play card is one of my joy is coming cards. They just all flew out. Can I have one more card here? One from the bottom. Obedience. That was at the top of the an expectancy. This says, you know, the obedience is following the rules, right? Um, like I said, right now, we're still in Lionsgate Portal. It's the perfect time to put yourself out there, but you've only got about a minute left. And I mean that because really the energy left yesterday. Expectancy with the little gift here. Expect a gift from the universe. Just because, uh, you know, the statistics or the calendar says the energy left yesterday, I don't think that means a damn thing. I feel like time is fluid, energy is fluid. Go in and make your plea. It's not too late. That's how I feel. Anyway, and if it's you, Scorpio, if it's them, well, I hope to God they see this reading. <laughs> anyway, guys, please do chime in. Please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like and don't forget your weekly love and your monthly love readings came out yesterday. Your general monthlies came out before that a week or so ago. Um, you have a lot of other readings out there, weekend reading and everything else. Please do enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like and comment. I want to hear from you guys. Who is this reading for? All right, guys, have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.